What's up everybody? I'm Tara Wellman and this is Bird Seeds. Dear Cardinals, well, it's been a year. <laughs> One that I recently described as aggressively mediocre. So, we've had better. Lots better. For the first time since 1982, St. Louis has a World Series winner. Back is Craig. What a team. What a ride. The Cardinals are world champs in 2011. To be honest, I kind of think that opening series at Bush Stadium ended up being sort of a microcosm of what the season would become. Important games against must-beat teams that were all winnable, all close enough to offer a glimmer of hope, but not all good enough for the wins. Don't get me wrong, I understand that a lot of things just didn't go right. From the Johnny Peralta experience, to the Matt Adams experiment, to the collective early season struggles of Alain Mestiaz, Matt Carpenter, Dexter Fowler, Stephen Piscotti, Randall Gritchick, I, I could go on. And let's not even talk about the bullpen woes. The new and improved team dynamic that was all the rage in spring training just didn't really translate to the regular season. And I get it, it's hard. Sustained success is not easy. If it was, it wouldn't really be worth the fight. I mean, without the lows, the highs wouldn't seem quite as magical. This year just had a lot of lows. I mean, Carlos Martinez with his first career complete game shutouts, those were highs. The agonizing decline of Adam Wainwright, though, definitely a low. The emergence of Paul DeYoung and especially Tommy Pham, amazing. The debuts of Magniri Sierra and Harrison Bader, also not bad. The untimely injuries that disrupted what should have been a breakout season for Colton Wong? <sighs> there was even a stray cat that inspired a grand slam. And that was fun, for like a minute. But then even that got awkward and messy. Which, coincidentally, is how I would describe the base running this season. In a division that was decidedly down as far as the competition level is concerned, it would have been nice to see some changes at the trade deadline. I mean, we all were aware that this team needed a facelift, at the very least. Instead, we saw what looked like complacency, which turned into complaints from your players and tension with your manager, who, in hindsight, maybe isn't quite quite the people person we thought he was. It's all just not a great look, if you ask me. Which might be why the Cardinals haven't asked me, now that I think about it. Maybe I just need to take it to Instagram, because that seems to be the only way to get the attention of the powers that be. <coughs> Yet, somehow, this team managed to stay in it until the very last week. You won just enough to drag out the inevitable. And I'm not really sure if that's better or worse than the alternative. Actually, you know what, that's not really true. Because the last series of the year not meaning anything was really hard to watch, and evidently it was also pretty hard to play. So in that light, I am really grateful to have watched meaningful baseball so late in the season. But yeah, overall, this one was tough. And I'd be lying if I said I feel confident in the changes that will happen over the winter. But that's probably just the disappointment talking. Because honestly, today is the first day without Cardinals baseball since it was brutally cold outside. And as frustrating as this season was, I'm still really sad that it's over. That's the beauty of this thing we have, you and I. Your season begins when the air starts to warm up a little bit more each day. And your season beginning is part of why I love those early spring days so much. Then we live or die together every day with every pitch, you and me. Win or lose, there's always tomorrow in baseball season. 
The goat one day can be the hero the next day. A weird coincidence can become a treasured superstition overnight. And a guy that no one has really ever even heard of can suddenly become the cornerstone of the future. The pop of a Trevor Rosenthal fastball in Yadier Molina's glove. The vibration of the stadium roaring to life in the middle of a late inning rally. The childlike joy on the faces of these remarkable athletes who go out day after day trying to do something unforgettable. These are the things that I'll miss over the long, this season, extra long winter months. I mean, how can you not be romantic about baseball? Right? That's what makes it so hard when it's over. I love you guys, even if I don't always like you. But I really do like postseason baseball, so if y'all could work on that over the off season, then I'd, I'd be super grateful. All that said, another season has come and gone just like that. And yeah, I'm a little sad. But get some rest, boys, and then get to work because people like me will be very anxious to see you next spring. Sincerely, Tara Wellman. I'll see you next time on Bird Seeds. If you missed last week's episode, go ahead and click right here to go straight there. And if you wanna make sure that you never miss an episode of Bird Seeds, click subscribe.